This week on Nosler's Magnum TV, the epic destination is a whole lot closer to home. It's small town America and the root of hunting for most of us. You'll see one glaring example of just how important hunting is to those of us who hunt and how important the support of hunters is to our world. And finally, we'll cap it off with the luckiest five minutes of one hunter's hunting career. Smaller in stature than some of the other running backs that have been on the field today. But not in heart. And he, he's wearing the number 22, guys. It is Jack Hoffman of Team Jack coming out of the field right now. And there's fourth down and short. For the red team. Jack All Hoffman has been adopted team really team by this football team. A young man who has battled brain cancer Hoffman. is on the field right now for the Huskers. One more snap for Taylor Martinez, too, who will hand it off to Jack. So Taylor gets the shotgun set, gives it to Jack. Here he goes. He's got blockers out in front. There he goes. Jack is running the midfield. Listen to this crowd. And the 30, the 25, the 20, the 15, the 10. Hoffman across the five. Hoffman scoring for the red team. Oh, wow. What a moment. And both benches empty. That, that was a moment right there. Wow. Goosebumps. You know, the Team Jack Foundation is a grassroots organization that was started in Atkinson, Nebraska um, earlier this year. Uh, the, the sole purpose and mission of the Team Jack Foundation is to raise as much money as we can, as fast as we can, for pediatric brain cancer research. Before Jack got sick, you know, when he was four years old, um, you know, some of my favorite memories of Jack were sitting in a pop-up blind turkey hunting or sitting in a pop-up blind uh, next to a cornfield bow hunting, uh, and Jack was always raring to go. And, uh, you know, he loves to, he loves the great outdoors. He loves spotting deer. He loves hunting. And so, um, for us, the outdoors is just part of who we are. It's, a, it's our fabric of life. You know, one hunt I had really looked forward to this year was the Team Jack hunt. My sons and I have been following Jack ever since the famous touchdown at Husker Stadium. And I just knew this was going to be a lot of fun for a great cause and just couldn't wait to get to camp. seen one of these? No. It's for reading trail cam pictures. Mm. It's pretty cool. Check it out. Mm. You just hit that button. Look at that. Is that cool or what? Mm. So now you can go steal your dad's trail cam cards and put it, pop it in here and see what you got. Uh. Well, maybe you can find one of those for a hundred more. Pointed out to him. Still need some help. This one's for you. Alright. Right. 
It's a lot of fun. Visit the Magnum Hunt Club on Facebook to follow our worldwide adventures and to plan your own. Nosler's Magnum TV is brought to you by Nosler Upfront and by Scentblocker, Thompson Center Arms, Nikon, Real Avid, and Grand Slam Club Ovis, home of the Super Slam. Nosler's Magnum TV is brought to you by Blackhorn 209. Dead ringer broadheads are designed with the hunter in mind. With low profile ferrules, dead ringer flies with field point accuracy. The stainless steel choker tip delivers bone crushing strength and devastation beyond belief. Dead ringer broadheads, there will be blood. Shortly after the run, um, Nebraska United States Senator Deb Fischer uh, passed a unanimous resolution on the floor of the United States Senate uh, adopting, for the first time, National Pediatric Brain Cancer Awareness Day. After Senator Fischer and her colleagues designated this day uh, as National Awareness Day, our foundation took it as an opportunity to try to raise as much money as we could on that day. So one of the things that we did was uh, decided to have a national celebration right there in Atkinson, Nebraska. And as part of that celebration, uh, we decided to have a, a huge auction. What a nice, nice donation right there. This was underwritten by Cabo and Grunt. Some of our favorite auction items were the outdoor items. Uh, a lot of great outfitters like Guy Long Grunt showed up. And, and donated some amazing hunting opportunities. Um, they were our most cherished and prized auction items on the 26th, and it was just a really great opportunity uh, to, to sell those kinds of things. And then, as you grow, you can give them your barrel. I walked up, I went to sleep, but I was like, how'd we get here? <laughs> I drove pretty fast. Yeah, I'll sell. And he came in to see both? Hey, Pat. Hey, James. How you doing? Good, how are you? Good. Is our Henry here? He's here. Excellent. Yeah, I chase a lot of bad guys, but overall, sportsmen as a whole are a generous group of guys, and they always rally to support a good cause. Bob Riley, this is Pat George, our local game warden, and from the oh, Nebraska... Nice to meet you, Pat. Yeah. Nice to meet you, Pat. Yeah, he's from the Nebraska Conservation Officers Association, and they're the ones that provided the tag for your hunt. We always get nervous when we see you guys. A lot of people do. <laughs> <laughs> we always hope we're right, though. But it usually wears off yeah. quick. So. <laughs> I'm sure. <laughs> we appreciate it. Yes, we do. Not a problem. Didn't take long to talk to the guys, and everybody's on board in some matter of minutes. Well, that's cool. As part of the Nebraska Conservation Officers Association, we are proud to rally and support in the Team Jack Foundation for Pediatric Brain Cancer. Weather's going to turn good. The bucks are going to be rotten. Should be a great hunt. Looking forward to it. How about you? You ready to go bright and early in the morning? Jack, I tell you what, buddy, we've been following you a lot on uh, the internet, and I'm betting you like to hunt a little. Yeah. What do you like to hunt the most? Deer. Deer? Mm -hmm. Well, you know, I think uh, we've got something that uh, at least you can uh, have some fun uh, learning how to shoot and everything, and so we just uh, we wanted to give this to you, Jack, for uh, all you stand for and, and what you've been doing, buddy. So okay. bring it on here, Riley. Bob brought just an amazing gift for Jack. And it really meant a lot to us uh, for him to, him and Riley to show up and just an amazing gift and just so incredibly thoughtful. You got, you got Team Jack up the stock. Look at that. Thank you so much, guys. You got you. <laughs> that is really something. I'm not old enough to deer hunt yet, but I can't wait to shoot that gun at Pop Cannon.
Yeah. You want some supper? <laughs> well, I'm just checking on. It. What do you think about that? What Check is it out. Oh, all right, we got like goodness. all kinds of local sausages and meats, and cabbage and potatoes and vegetables in the can cooker. Should hey. be pretty good. Hey, Jack. James tells me you're uh, guiding one of the hunters tomorrow. Well, listen, I want to give you a nighttime binocular. You think you can help him find a big deer out there? Yeah. All right, good deal. Here, here's a Monarch 7. Can you put that around your neck? All right, good deal. Charge you there. High five. High five. <laughs> All right. Let's Take those this. lens caps off. <laughs> Make sure you find a 160, okay? <laughs> You're welcome. That's pretty cool. Good luck, buddy. We're ready to go. All right. Except we need to eat. Sportsman's Guide is America's number one supplier of hunting gear at closeout prices. I get fast direct shipping, it's easy to shop online, I hunt more, I play more, I do more stuff outside because of Sportsman's Guide. Nosler's Magnum TV is brought to you by Mountain King Ranch. Are you tired of shooting the same old bullseye and paper targets? Try something new, fun, and different on your next trip to the range with Shoot and See Targets. Shoot and See Targets. Always know where your bullet hits. I grew up hunting and fishing. Jack grew up hunting and fishing. Great outdoors has always just been a big part of our life. It was really special to us um, when we learned that the, the winning bidder, Bob uh, Colson, turned around and then gave the hunt to his son, Riley. Kind of meant a lot to me. You know, I'd father, son, uh, and so we were excited to learn that they were both going to be coming out to Gobble and Grunt uh, Outfitters to, to meet up with Team Jack and participate in the hunt. It was really pretty special. A couple father sons getting together and getting to share a, a great moment like that. Riley shot a great buck on the first day, but he was there for a much bigger reason. Take a look at Riley's deer. <laughs> Whoa! What do you think of him, Jack? What? What do you think of that guy? Oh. Would you would you have shot him? Yeah. That's a big one, man. Look at that big five by five, that big wide. Split brown. Yeah. He's got yeah. a lot of character. He's been fighting though. Know, you can yeah. tell He's got a lot of character. He's an older one. Look at that. This is an awesome buck. Yeah, that's good job, good. man. Thank you. Great hunt. Thank you. Yeah, it was. Thank you guys. Yeah, yeah it's well, been thanks great. for your We've support. Been doing it. Jack, it was good to meet you, buddy. Yeah, I just really appreciate all you guys have done for the cause and really well, appreciate you guys coming out and doing this hunt. We're appreciating cause, all the so. things you guys are doing to stay yeah. and, and also Gobble and Grunt, you know, they've, yeah. uh, they've stepped out here and that's that's really cool. Well, we yeah. just, everybody's been very supportive of the cause and we appreciate yeah. it. Can we get a picture with you guys in Absolutely. here? Uh, all right, sounds great. Great story, great hunt. Let's pull you. this big boy out, should we, Jack? Dead Ringer's hybrid line of broadheads are designed with revolutionary technology and superior materials, changing the way you might think of mechanical broadheads. No matter the game you're chasing, Dead Ringer has you covered with a broadhead that will work for both vertical and crossbows. Spring steel blades, a T6 aluminum ferrule capped with a hardened stainless steel trocar tip, and the most durable O-ring retention system, Dead Ringer has changed the mechanical broadhead. The Rampage 2 blade was designed for lower poundage bows to have the penetrating advantage of higher poundage bows. Low profile by design, it measures only 7 eighths of an inch diameter in flight and still delivers a devastating one and a half inch cut on impact. 
If you're looking for a three blade broadhead, the Rampage 3 comes in 100 or 125 grain versions. If you're looking for a massive wound channel, the Dead Ringer Trauma Broadhead delivers just that. It's the first blade position changing system, allowing you to change between two and a half and an industry first three and one eighths inch cutting diameter for devastation beyond belief. Partnered with the T6 aluminum ferrule and stainless bone shattering chisel tip, the Trauma Broadhead flies with field point accuracy. It works great for turkeys too. Check out all these fine dead ringer broadheads because failure is not an option. Nosler's Magnum TV is brought to you by Dunham's High Caliber Ranch. Nosler's Magnum TV is brought to you by Nosler Upfront and by Crossbreed Holster. Carry concealed, carry comfortably, carry the cross. Wheeler Engineering Delta Series, the best line of AR tools available. Argo Extreme Off-Road Performance, starting at $99.95. The new Barnett Razor, faster, stronger, lighter. Mojo's Double Trouble Predator Calling System. It ain't magic if it ain't Mojo. Performance jokes for hunting and shooting sports. Get on target with kicks. Down and Dirty Outdoors, leaders in innovation in a world of imitation. Closed captioning provided by Gobble and Grunt Outfitters. One of the great parts about this hunt, uh, you know, not only the awareness that it's helping create and the funds that it helped raise, but you know, it's really special to us that James has, has been a part of, of the hunt. There's a doe right there. There's something behind her. A five by five, narrow five by five. Oh, what's that there? Oh my God, that's it. That's a big one. Oh, jeez. That's a big block right there. Oh, amazing the brush. Come on. He stopped right behind that tree. I don't think he can come out without me seeing it. There he is, there he is, there he is. Oh, I think I hit him good. I think I hit him good. Felt good. Afternoon box. Two of them. <sighs> Unbelievable. <sighs> there it is, right there. Right there. Yeah, it didn't move from where we last saw it. Oh my gosh, look at him. That is a total buck. That is a giant. Look at this buck. Oh, split G3s. That's what we were looking for. That's what gave this buck away. I had to shoot him. We, we've uh, hunted hard for this guy. Oh, my goodness. What a gorgeous brute. Massive old Roman nose buck. Wow, I gotta say. 
we can find this one right where I think he is. We've just, I've just pulled off the most amazing whitetail hunt of my entire life. No blood yet, but he was running pretty good. Oh my gosh. He's right here. He didn't go, he didn't go 10 yards. Oh my gosh, he's a giant, giant buck. Oh my gosh, holy cow. I guess we could have come down right away. We didn't have to give these guys any time at all. Oh, both bucks went straight down. My goodness, <laughs> 130 grain E-tip out of a 270 Thompson Center Venture rifle. Put both of these giant bucks right down. Wow, and what an honor that it happened on the Team Jack Hunt. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Can you believe that buck, Jack? We found a lot of sheds with split G2s over the years, but I've never got a chance to actually oh harvest one. Oh my gosh. And I can't come back here in uh, in December for muzzleloader season, so I decided to just go ahead and shoot them both right now. I, it was uh, just such a special, oh, this is a special hunt, and we really wanted to top it off. And you couldn't ask for something like this. You couldn't, I couldn't dream for a deer hunt like that to ever happen even one day of my life.